Alright guys, hello, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. So I made my chime dark. And it didn't it ruin it didn't ruin the scaling, which is awesome. It still has S. And it bumped it up to 287. I think it was doing 260. I wonder what like if there is there a cap? This thing is powerful. Anyways, let's continue. So we have a shitload of enemies up ahead. I think we might just run, run might just run past them, to be quite honest with you. See, we have this guy who's wielding a frickin' torch. How's it going, bro? See how much this dark orb does now. Oh my god, one shots. That's OP. I think rolling in this gives me dark reduction, resistance, whatever. All right, so this room sucks. There's a lot of a lot of casters here. I'm just gonna run by. First, I'll kill this dude. All right, I'm out. I want nothing to, do, nothing to do with you guys. Affinity sucks. I'm out. Suck it. That room is awful. Okay, we're gone. Now in here, is there is this. I wonder if this uh, the hollow. Yeah, I want to kill him. Okay, cool. Uh, in this room, you don't want to produce light. Because you'll draw aggro from an NPC. I hear someone else following me. Hi! Human. Do not produce light. Light. Alright, Agadon. Agadane, whatever the hell their name is. So you can target, you can kill these guys. I made the mistake of killing these guys the first time, and I was like, oh shit. I should probably kill them, but better don't aggro you unless you have a torch. And having that hollow with the torch back there, if you bring them here, they will aggro you, so. Oh, this guy sells hexes. Oh. <laughs> what a dick move. It literally a wall I had, but torch required. If you light a torch, you get gangbanged. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I'm going to rate that, because that shit's hilarious. Someone will fall for it. I know someone will. I am Ogdane. Ogdane. Guardian of the crypt. Hello, Ogdane. Countless dead rest here in peace. Cradled by the comfort of dark. Light only agitates. We have no need for it here. I am a finito. We weave death and watch over the dead. This task was granted to me. By the one who gave us the first death, countless souls rest here. Some of them from ages long ago. Some were rich, others poor. Some wise, some dull, but now they're all just dead. Did you come for him? The one called Vendrick. Yes, I did. You will find him deeper inside. Many castle servants and the like have come to fetch their lord. Perhaps he's... In the past, the former king of light, he feared humans. Feared that they would usher in an age of dark. How queer are you humans? This place is welcome to all. Death is equitable. Okay, I'm over it. I'm over it, Ogdon. Give me your gesture. Have mercy! So he sells the Shield of the Insolence. Uh, shield of former high ranking clerics. So for f the effects of Blessing are still with it, and the shield recovers one stamina. But it. Look at that. Reduces 50% damage. That sucks. So he sells the Insolent Helm. Uh, never really bought these. He sells the Ring of Thorns. Ooh, Dark Arrows. I didn't know he sold Dark Arrows. Ooh, Effigies, too. And he has some spells. So he has Soul Spear. Uh, is that Soul Vortex? And Soul of Peas? What does this do? Oh, damage to hollows and warmth. Okay. I am a finito. This top countless some crude human. I'm over it. I totally forgot that we forgot to go save the other Melfinito from Dragon Lake Castle. So when we get to the next bonfire, we'll do that. Now this part sucks. There's Scion or uh, Sentinels up here. 
come in here, bro. Let's fight. No? Oh, you wanna fight? I'll poison her ass. I'll poison her ass. Yeah, enjoy that. Enjoy the poison, homie. Oh, I poisoned both of them. Joke's on you! So now let the poison do its work. Bitch. Hmm, poison. Green blossom. Alright, it's fucking dark in here. Try jumping, then fire. Oh yeah, if you go down there, it's just in, uh, the other way to get to the bonfire. But let's go this way first. I want to make sure we get the bonfire. Oh yeah, one thing to notice about these statues right here, they will spawn... ...ghostly motherfuckers that are annoying as hell. And I just want to break them. It also spawns these motherfuckers, too. Alright, can I... If I can aim this properly, I can hit this. Nope. If you hit that enough, it'll break. Believe me. There you go. Fuck that. I can go through your rock. Freaking spawn of these bastards. Do not produce light human. Fuck you, Ogden. I'll do as I please. Where's the noob? Get out of here, bruh. Let's get this bonfire. And I was pretty much using this to break that thing, but hey. So, I think it's... Uh, this one. So we'll do the side quest for now. Just get out of the way. It's not even a side quest, it's just like a little thing to do on the side. Like I said, it's a side quest. And thank god this thing is down. Mirror Knight, no longer there. I don't know why that sign guard still guarding it. Wish I could look up. Like, up more. Let's see how far, like, I wanna see how far this, this is a long fucking elevator. Jesus. That's pretty far. Can you imagine riding an elevator like this in real life? I feel like I'd probably lose my balance. I'd probably just sit on the floor. Just so I'd make myself not fall off. So, let's use the key of the embedded. Sorry, bro. Why don't you use it? What the hell? That. That seems horrible. That seems horrible. So we lose- do we lose the weapon? Guess we do. Hmm. Okay. So let's talk to her. Are you okay? Okay. Ring of the Dead. That's kind of weird. She's like... Orgasms when I open the door. <laughs> the hell? Uh, I think it was Ring of the Dead do. I forget if I can find it. It's Ring of the Evil Eye. Appears. Human even went hollow. Oh, really? Let's see how it looks. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. I guess that you can use that to talk to people who need you to be human. To talk to them. Yeah, some people, some NPCs require you to be human to talk to. Um, we'll just call this elevator and then I'll use a home bone. Just in case you need to come back up here. I'm gonna wait. Okay. So now we got that out of the way. We can head back to bonfire over here rise of the dead I forget which I forget, is it the is it the one by the shrine or is it the one in the beginning of shrine of Amana? I always forget we can check we'll check this one it might be I think it's this one so once you save her you talk to one of the sisters 
And, uh, I wonder if I can poison you guys. Yeah, cool. See you later. PvP in a nutshell. <laughs> poison and run. Okay. Give me your souls. No, don't stop singing. I hope I didn't disturb you. We hear a song in the distance. You rescued a Milfanita who was taken from us. Take this. We Milfanita, thank you. Fire seed. The little one. And we have some. This is what we were told. Okay, so you get you guys to get a fire seed from that. That's pretty cool. So if you're a pyromancer, you definitely want to do that, I guess. So let's continue to Undead Crypt. I think we'll, I think we'll kill the boss at Undead Crypt and then we'll make it a, just make it a video. Uh, because I, I can, you can easily do Undead Crypt so easily. Ooh, a Bleedstone. Cool. You can do Undead Crypt pretty quickly if uh, you skip a lot of stuff, which I will do because I hate Undead Crypt so much. The place sucks. Not as much as Shaded Woods, but it's it's up there. I think Shrine of Mana is the worst. The friggin' worst. So we're gonna go back out the way we came in. So we can get some of the stuff out there. I think I need to break this statue. Oh, the statue's still broken. Neat. I thought I would have to re-break it. Oh wow, the rocks are still broken too. Get out of the way. Friggin' rocks. You know what, I will spawn one of these guys so you can see what they look like. They're dicks. Let's hope that he doesn't wreck my life. So, it's funny. These guys attack so fast. Oh, he didn't get to see it. I fucking wrecked him. They have a, they have a really good sword that you can use. Um, it's a sword that allows you to cast sorceries and hexes, I think? Or is it just sorceries? Uh, oops, wrong button. And it's it it's it uh it's also used as a as a uh a weapon, obviously. Oh well, you get the fuck out of here, bro. Fucker. Huh. Rip. Okay, so there's a couple ways. So we want to go down there. I forget how I did this. I, I don't know if I dropped there or... Okay, let's go this way. Let's do this one first. So if you drop down here, try jumping there for a chest. Oh, that sucks. Freaking wall stopped me. Simpleton spies. And there should be a ladder here. Guys, cherry picking the ladders. Look at this douchebag. Suck it. Oh, he dropped something. Oh shit! I didn't get to read the message. Hopefully, he's not a trap. Be wary of seeing, by the way, dark spirit. What? There's no dark spirit here. Fire seeds again? God. They're really handing out fire seeds, huh? So the other way we can go is through here. Uh, I think this is where we want to drop. This should be a ledge under ours. Yep, right here. And then you can light that. I'll, I'll, I think I'm gonna light it right now, just so I can see better. Try blow and then try torch. Yep. So we get a torch out. Where's my flame butterflies? There it is. I'm 26. Wow. That's a lot. And then you light this. And it lights the whole area. So you can see easier. Eh, I still can't see. Much better than nothing, right?
There's no illusionary wall there. Oh, a soul vessel. Cool. You lie. Alright, let's come up here. Solve a hero. And then this will lead us to the bonfire. It's like an alternate route to the bonfire. Alright, so. Uh, we're fighting the next boss. I don't need a dark weapon. So we're gonna speed run through this whole this next part. Cause I don't feel like doing with these fuckers. Go through here. Go through here. I forgot how to get up there, but I don't care. I don't care. Now once you get here, you do get invaded. So hopefully these hollows don't fuck with me. Hi, nameless or serpent douche. How many times are you gonna invade me? Die. Ooh, nice dodge. I gotta watch out for these guys. Where are they? And he didn't spawn. It's kind of weird. There's like these ghostly guys. Oh, ooh, there he is. They come out of the wall and try to hit you when you're grabbing treasure chests. So, I think. Oh, there's two in here. This one here. There's one by this chest too. I didn't check. Is this a mimic? Okay, it's not. Avalyn. Try to do a wielding butthole. <laughs> I heard a lot of people complain about Avalyn's in PvP. They probably bonfire static that and then get that. Okay. Yeah, Avalyn's a crossbow that shoots three bolts at a time. So there's one. There's an enemy here. I think I, I, think I memorized this. There's one here and there's one where this blood stain is. Or is, it, or is it this one? Is it this one? It's one of these. One of these has one! An, an invisible dude. Where is it? This? There it is. Ow, you dick. Hey, sure, there should be one more here. Okay. Now, these guys are blocking the freaking way. Which sort of annoys me. I wonder if you can poison them. Oh, aggro them. I'm out. I'm out. Run! Oh, fuck. They fit through the door. That's scary. Luckily, I have fucking personate soul. Why are you so open my face, man? He die. Damn, damn that's, that does a lot of damage. Where's your boyfriend at? Are you really gonna block the door? You're that you're you're, you're that guy. That will hurt. That will fucking hurt. Luckily I killed your ass. Curious home. Wow. I don't know what that is. First time I follow these guys, I never dropped anything. Imperious home? Helmet worn by a once a proud knight. Relics of a party who long ago attempted to conquer the undead crypt. For this act of conceit, they will never rest in peace and instead serve as crypt guardians. Oh, that sucks. Now, this next area fucking blows. Stay calm and then dash. So, once you drop down here, um, a hollow will spawn, ring a bell, and you will get gang banged by like six floating guys. If you remember, like this, those statues. Um, they have a sword that can use sorcery. They will gangbang the fuck out of you. So what you usually do is you run this way and then you just go this way, and you're home free. Cause that place sucks. I want nothing to do with that place. That's how you deal with that. And then you pull the lever, and this, this should open up the shortcut back to the bonfire. 
So we'll rest at the bonfire and then we'll continue through the boss. Luckily, we have a path here. Okay. Don't need dark weapon. Because I don't. Let us continue. So you can you can poison the next boss, which I will try. Now, first thing you want to do when you drop down here is go here and kill this dude. Because if you don't, he will spawn. If he rings a bell, he will spawn a shitload of ghostly guys. And since he didn't, we are good to go. So now ahead of us, we have uh, I think how many do we have? Like seven? We have one, two, three, four, five. Now we have five. Now we have more. One, we have four, five, six. We have six Scion Knights to deal with. And they're all douchebags. So you want to aggro them one by one if you can. Come on. One at a time. Oh god, we got two. Ah, oh, you suck. Backstab him. Ah, I tried. It's kind of hurt. What? <laughs> He's hit me through the front. How does that make sense? That was behind him. He hit me. All right. Yeah, backstabs work pretty good. The guys with the halberd. Oh, they all have halberds. You are fucked. I'm gonna snipe these guys. Let's get my binoculars out. I think Resonate Soul goes that far, right? Doesn't dissipate, does it? But can I rather not fight these guys? Like, fucking gang gang banged? Yep. Get fucked, homie. Next in line. Let's see if I can hit this guy. I got him. Oh, we got all of them. Run, lazy run! Alright. So we have last two halberd wielders. Shouldn't be too bad. No, take, you're taking a dark fog. Cause I ain't dealing with this shit. Okay. <laughs> See you guys when you die. You shouldn't stand there. All right, that's fine with me, man. Poison's a bitch. Cool. Now there's someone here we can summon. I don't know if he actually has a quest line. I don't think he does. Um. I mean, we can summon him if you want. But the question is, do I want to? I don't think I need to. Next boss is pretty easy, so. Um. Can you summon? I want. Uh, do you get Benhart here? I don't think you do. Try magic. All right, hold on. Let me let me just look this up real quick. One second. Google is your friend. I want to make sure I don't miss out Ben Hart's summons, at least. Okay. Come on. Yeah, so you can you can you can summon the uh, Ogdane here. Not really needed. So Ben Hart's not here though, so that's fine. So I'm gonna try and poison him, and then we'll go to town. So let's do it. I will take a blossom first. All right, let's do it. Oh, we have a cutscene, huh? Ah, 
I never noticed Velstad had a cutscene. That's cool. I always kind of skipped it. What's up, Velstad? How's it going, bro? I don't know what's going through that attack. That attack sucks. You can poison him. Which takes a lot. Up. Oh. So just dodge his attacks, pretty easy. As I get wrecked in the face. You. Oh, I should probably take out my great resonate tools. Damn, five hundred is not bad. You gonna buff? Oh, not gonna buff. You gonna buff yet? No? No buffing? Usually you buff here. There you go. So you can poison him. Let's see if I can poison him. Did not get the poison off. That sucks. So now he has freaking dark on him. Don't do Woo. Ow. Don't do it, Bellstar. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're dead, homie. I should have one for two. Oh. His attack fucking hurts. And he's dead. Yeah, you suck it. You suck it, Velstad. And look who it is. King Vendrick. He won't... He will not attack you unless you attack him. Honestly, I don't think he will attack you unless you do enough damage. Because... Why am I healing? I don't know. Um... Hi. In order to do damage to him, you need at least... at least four... Um... Giant souls to do damage to him, so... We'll see you later, Vilstad. Oh my god, I never knew the Emerald Herald was here. I was walking, I walked up the stairs, I'm like, what the fuck? Because once I got that ring, I it homeward boned my first time through. This ring is the symbol of the king. Creepy. Use it to gain passage through the king's gate. And venture to the far east. Bearer of the curse. If you are to be the next monarch. And one day you will walk those grounds without really knowing why. Okay, you creepy ass lady. How'd you get through here? What if I ran past everyone? You know? So I'm not gonna waste a homer bone. We'll just go back to normal way. So there it is, Velstar the Aegis. Guardian of Vendrick's tomb, I guess. He's he's hollow. That sucks. So we have the King's Ring, which allows us to open up. Oh wow, I never got this chest. Oh, that's a mimic. No, it's not. Wow, I thought it was. I thought I saw teeth. Magic stone. Oh, Dark Knight stone. Cool. So we have uh, the King's Ring, which allows us to open doors. That require the ring. Is it, like if you if you try to open the door, you're still alive. There's usually doors that says, "Oh, you produce a symbol of the king to open." That's what the ring is for. So we'll do that next time. First off, let's go level up. That guy's a dragon already. How do you get the? How the fuck? Okay. Um. I don't think I have twinkling. What? Don't think so. No, I don't. Need one more. I'll be around. I will just level up. I'm gonna take more vigor. Come on, Emerald. Come on. Why are you? Come on. Bearer of the curse until hope has fully withered. Oops. Level up. 
So we get one attunement, because I'm doing one per vigor. That's fine. No, I actually want some endurance. Uh, 32 is fine. So we need 35 for the next slot. Which is fine. And I'll buy it. How many left do I have? 77. Ah, that's fine. So, let's go produce this, the king's symbol, shall we? Uh, where do we have to go? There's a couple of doors that require a king's sign. Um, there's one in Dranlake Castle, which leads to the Throne of Want. Then there's one in Aldia's Keep, that leads to Aldia's Keep. Then another one leads to the Giant Memories. Uh, so I think we want to go to... Uh, this one. So we, we'll get to the next area and then we'll end it. Oh, we meet, we meet another another NPC here. For the last time, which is kind of sad. So is it this way? Or is it this way? I think it's this way. Is it this way? Yeah, it's this way. Can we have 50 Dark Orb? Holy crap. I guess that two mint slot, huh? Okay. Two mint is no joke. So we get one more for everything? Four? Wow, we have four soul grade, I think. Or soul spears, we had five. Or f three, now we have six. We have five, eleven. Cool. Pretty cool. Oh, we have to put the ring on. Durr. Uh, should be at the bottom, maybe? There it is, King's Ring. So once the door opens, we can take it off. And this will be the next area we need to progress to. I'll just keep. Now, I don't know if these enemies aggro you. I, th I read somewhere that they don't aggro, aggro you unless you attack them first. So. I tried dragon bone. So, oh, is, are these the animals from the things with Twix? Yeah, those monkeys. Poison arrows. Barn skull. And this is a mimic. Get wrecked. Sunset Staff. Oh, yes, we get the Sunset Staff. And a Dark Mask? I have two Sunset Staffs? Like, wow. Look at it is. It's Lucatiel. So you get two Sunset Staff. That's pretty weird. Okay. And yeah, we got the Mask. Dark Mask? What does that do? Oh, this. Massive Night Sum subsumed by Dark. No one knows the true identity of these men who are... Set to freely manipulate dark, old foreign legends describe them as poor souls who chase the lost art of life training. So we'll let the bonfire and we'll talk to Lucatiel. And if I did everything correctly, we should get her armor set. Who are you? Oh. No. Forgive me. I know you. Yes, of course. How goes your journey? It's hard to see her face, but you can see she's going hollow. I what you seek in this faraway land. But I pray for your safety. Please take these. Yay. So you get her set. You get Luca Teal's mask, vest, gloves, and trousers. And you even get her sword. Very cool. Consider this thanks for keeping me safe. You're welcome, Luca Teal. My name is Luca Teal. I beg of you, remember my name. Oh, I will. For I'm... My name is Lu I beg of So this is the last time you'll we'll ever meet Luca Teal. So if you haven't done her side quest, you should probably go back and do it. You can... I heard you can bonfire ascetic, um, flex on sentry. You can do that three times. Or you can do... Uh, Smelter Demon three times. I don't know why you would want to when Flexile is so much easier. But the I, I think Flexile Sentry 
halfway through it spawned um, dark spirits, red or red phantoms, so that could be troublesome. Smells her game is pretty easy. Uh, what else can you summon her for? Um, I forget what, you can, what else you can summon her for, but if you summon her three times, keep her alive, you get her armor set, and you get her sword. I never got this because I fucked it up on another playthrough. So you get Mira, great sword. Great shirt issued to the proud knights of Mira, official well order. This is this one was wielded by Luca Teal. This great sword demand advanced skill in a rare and unique sword technique. A tiny message is inscribed in the blade. A promise to someone special. So there you go. So since we have uh, the king's ring, let's go open up the other doors. Get the bonfires. Uh, there is one in the forest of the fallen giants. Cardinal Tower. See, she's gone. No, Luca Teal, no! Stay sane! Don't go hollow! Okay. So I'm gonna come down here. Oh my god, really? Get your fat ass over here. Oh damn, I have my chime out. I was like, what can I attack? Holy shit, that guy went flying. Okay. Come through here. Oh, I gotta put the ring on. Keep forgetting. Open this up. Let's just leave this on for now. So this is the area uh, above the Fire Longsword, if you remember, all the way back then. Um, what's the name of this place? I think it's like Things Benounced? Unbenounced? The place Unbenounced. This was above, above, above the Flame Sword. That valley. So let's get this. I don't, know what, I don't know what this is. What is this? Twinkling time. Ooh, two. Ooh. I can level up my sunset staff. Let's get out of here. I don't feel like running through this whole gauntlet. Just get back. And I think we have one more area. I'm trying to remember. Um. Where's that last area? I said it earlier too. Shit. I totally forgot. Oh, it's over here. Oh, we can't even go there yet because well, we can, but that's like the end of the game, so I don't want to do it yet. So, all these is keep. All right, so we're good for now. I'm gonna go level up my sunset staff. Oh my. Finger. Oh, crack. I should level up instead. Actually, I don't think I have enough. Yeah. So let's reinforce. Should have enough now to make it plus five. And it's done. And we could probably level up our Thorn Great Sword. Which I might do? I don't know, I'm still on the fence if I should use this. I mean, d uh, lightning does scale with faith. My faith isn't exactly the highest. Well, 30 is pretty good. I mean, it's not that low. But I like the mace better. So, let's level up this now. Yeah, no. What does this need? Large Titanite shards. I think we're good. And I think, um... Hexer Hood requires... Twinkling, yeah. Okay. What does Luca Teal's require? Shards? Oh, shards. Six. How much is this one? Eight. One seventy-nine. Eight. Oh, she wears light armor, huh? 
Or she died so damn quickly. <laughs> Her mask is pretty cool looking. I actually wanna put I wanna put the mask on and see what it looks like. Let's see. Look at you mask. Am I blind or there it is? That's a sick looking mask. <laughs> I don't have the hex red though. So we are done. Next area is going to be all just keep, but I'll keep that for another day. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time. We did a lot today. God damn. We're getting pretty close to the end of the game. Although I haven't done Dark Lurker yet, so all those optional errors, 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 all those optional errors are still so they to be done. I've never done the Dark Chasm, so that'll be cool. Be first time for everything. I just want to collect this item before I go. So we have uh, wait, right we have full Estus shards. I think twelve is the most you can get. Uh, you can get plus five Estus. So, anyways, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.